ML Sports Take brought to you by Welch & Company Jewelers, Jam & Beats, and Camilla's Golf Club. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Great win for Clemson. Boy, did they need it. They're now 5-6 and six in conference and 15-7 and seven overall. But they go at North Carolina. They get a quad one win and a road win. And I got to tell you, the two big players for them... Joe Girard III and P.J. Hall, they combined for 46 points. And the former Syracuse uh, 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 guard in Girard, there were a lot of fans who have gotten on him through his days in Syracuse. I just don't understand it. Yeah, is there a bad turnover here and a, uh, an ill-advised shot there? Absolutely. But when I watch Joe Girard, I watch this guy 21 points in the biggest games, 21 points. He crashes the boards and gets six of them. And... He just makes big shots, man. The guy just can flat out score. And I, I kind of look at him a little bit of a as like a Josh Allen. Like, you're going to get that one turnover, but then you're going to get those couple of huge shots at the end of the game. By the way, he only had one turnover last night as well. And then when you add in uh, Shifflin, the, the, the big forward there with 14 and 11, Clemson's a really, really good team. I mean, I know Joe Lenardi thinks there's only three ACC teams that are going to make it. Jim Beheim called him out on that one. But to me... I mean, if Clemson finishes fairly strong here, how do you keep out Clemson? And plus, you got the player in P.J. Hall as well. I know they've been up and down. They had that awful three-game losing streak in the beginning of January. But, you know, and that, that Georgia Tech loss at home is a killer as well. But you lose at Duke by one. Is that really a killer? And they should have won that game. They got hosed by the refs. They beat Louisville, lose to Virginia. Virginia should be making the tournament. I don't know, man. Clemson, to me, looks more like a tournament team. Now, Syracuse, interestingly enough, will have Clemson here pretty soon at the Dome coming in. And that win over North Carolina helps boost the resume of Clemson, which also could boost the resume of Syracuse if they are to win. But Syracuse just does not have a lot of the size and versatility and finesse and skill that Clemson has. And I'm watching that game going, oh, baby, P.J. Hall is going to be a problem for the Syracuse Orange in that game. But that was just a great up and down game. Clemson was up there for a bit, multiple runs by Carolina to get back in it. And then Clemson made more plays in the end to get it done. But it was Gerard and P.J. Hall with 46 combined points, 15 rebounds as well, um, and six assists. And uh, you know what? Those guys only turn the ball over once each as well. Big time performance by Clemson. By the way, turnovers in this game, this is the kind of basketball game you want to see. The shooting could have been better on both ends, but from a turnover perspective, there wasn't a lot of slop. Six turnovers by Carolina, five by Clemson. It was a pretty clean game. A lot of missed shots across the board, but man, when you look at basketball efficiency, 80 to 76, and your big time players scoring, think about Baycott and Davis. They combined for 46 points. Harrison Ingram, the transfer from Stanford, scored 11. This is my kind of basketball. Clean, efficient, superstars doing it. Runs on both sides and big plays in the end by the victor. Clemson, 80-76. They beat North Carolina. ML Sports Take brought to you by Stanley Law Offices, Camillus Golf Club, Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company, and our great friends at Elevate Fitness of Syracuse.